So, if you're new to Hearthstone, you just beat all the tutorials and you've been flung into the game. What do you do next? Well, as the innkeeper indicated, your next goal should be to unlock all nine classes in practice mode. Now as you can see, the game provides you with a basic mage deck that it is pre-made. But while you can use this, this is a card game, so let's do it right and make our own deck. So you want to back out of that and go down to my collection. Alright, you want to click new deck. Later on you'll have a choice of which hero's deck to build. But right now we only have mage, so let's choose that. This is the basic selection of cards you start out with, and I'm going to make a quick deck using only cards you start with. And this is a great way to get through the, the opening battles, great way to unlock all the classes. So I'm going to make it really quick. Um, deck building is a complicated part of Hearthstone, and I'm not going to be going over it in this video. So. take my word that this is the best way to get all the heroes. Hmm. Okay, so here's the completed deck list. Uh, let's rename it really quick. After you finish typing the name of any deck, you have to hit enter in order to make it stick. That was an annoying thing to figure out myself. Alright, so we have the deck made. Now let's go back to practice mode. You'll notice that we have our own deck to play with. Now if you want to go back and use the basic decks, you can click this little arrow down here, and it'll take you back there, but we're going to stick with this one. To unlock heroes, you'll need to defeat them. Challenge your favorite hero first. That's a spot of odd advice, considering that you probably don't know very much about any of the heroes. So, I'm just going to start from the top. Play a quick game against Hunter. Okay, so, the goal of this deck is just to make very simple plays. Use all the mana you have in a turn get rid of your opponent's big threats, and send the rest of your damage at your opponent's hero directly. So, I'm mulligan everything away that costs more than three, and the spells as well. You're going second, so you get the coin. Use it wisely. Okay, so, right here I coin out the Bluegill Warrior to start getting in damage on the first turn. And this is fine against Hunter, but against a class like Mage, or Druid, or Rogue, who can remove something with one toughness with their hero power, that's not a good play. But against Hunter, it's okay. So I'm gonna just keep on going for his face. I already have a fireball in my hand, so if I can get him down low enough, I can just kill him with the spell. Alright, well, I'm just going to keep on attacking his face and let him do the trading if that's what he wants to do. Okay, that's actually really good. Um, we can use all of our mana this turn by using the hero power and killing his minion and then playing a two mana minion of our own all while still attacking him. Alright, we still want to be making the most use of our mana. So let's draw a couple cards. And then let's get rid of the, the enemy's crocolisk and just keep on sending in the wolf rider. Okay. Bit of an annoying play. I'm considering 
buffing my wolf rider and then using arcane missiles and the hero power but now that I think about it arcane missiles probably won't kill anything so let's use our mana efficiently play the four costing gnomish inventor and then just get rid of the one one boar and continue attacking the face Okay, at this point we have them pretty close to where we can take him out with one fireball, so instead of trying to keep the board clear, I just want to try and keep as many of my minions on the board as I can, and continue applying pressure. If my dark scale healer survives, next turn we can attack him for four, and then just do the remaining six damage with fireball. And that looks to be the case. There you go, finish it up for an easy win. Unlock the Hunter. So now you will have the Hunter class unlocked. You can see that they provide a basic deck for you as well. And if you go to your collection, you now have some Hunter cards. As well as the ability to make a Hunter deck. Also, winning that game unlocked two new cards for your mage, which we can incorporate immediately into this list. We got two frost bolts. So let's let's remove a few things to make room for that new spell. This hasn't been doing very much for us. Let's cut two of those. Put in two frost bolts. Now this deck is ready to keep on unlocking new classes. Let's go back, choose our deck, and keep on going.